All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Dota 2 first person VOD. This time I'm going to be playing Tide Hunter, and uh, I've gone to the middle lane actually. Because I was like, you know what? I'll show how awesome Tide Hunter is. He can do anything, go mid lane, and still own. So, anyways, here we go. We are at the bottom ruin right now, and uh, we're just warding away this warlock, just trying to fend him off so that we can get this ruin safely. Um, and he's still trying to put on the harass. I mean, this warlock is pretty ballsy. We've got three players here. Gotta be careful. So there's the illusion rune. I'm gonna pick that up and then head out to the middle lane. So anyways, on our team, we have myself, Tidehunter, Razor, uh, Drow. We have Jakiro and Queen of Pain. We have an okay team. Um, the other team, they're they're pretty strong as well. They got a better late game, I think. They have Lifestealer, Bloodseeker, Darkseer, Alchemist, and Warlock. And uh, I totally expected to see Bloodseeker here in the middle lane, but whatever, it's Warlock. It's actually an easier time for me, probably, going against it, this Warlock. Especially with those Illusion Ruins, first of all, that's going to give me some advantage. Um, I'm just going to run them towards him without attacking him, uh, as to not aggro the creeps. Not make the creeps attack my Illusions and kill them off. Uh, but instead, just sort of scare off Warlock a little bit as I go for the last hits. It takes a bit of micro, but it's pretty fun, I think. If you, if you pull it off. So basically, uh, the thought behind me going middle, uh, I was like, you know what, I think I can get the last hits better than uh, anyone else on my team right now. And I feel like if our team does bad in the side lanes, I can go gank extremely, extremely well um, once I hit level 6. I can just pop in there with my ulti. Amazing AoE stun, and uh, just basically pick off anybody or help any lane that's in trouble. So just kind of getting the last hits against Warlock, no big deal. Until the, what the heck, a Bloodseeker shows up. So I'm just like, what? Seriously, are you gonna dual mid versus versus me? Like I'm not that good, guys. So yeah, I, I guess this is happening right now. Um. So it, it's fine, it's fine, it's not too big of a deal, I think I can still manage this. But yeah, I'm gonna go just heal myself up. And I think Warlock just left, so they're just sw switching off there right now. But I don't really know why they did that, because now Bloodseeker is at a level disadvantage. And that's gonna mean that I have a pretty, I'm gonna have a pretty easy time against him here in the middle lane right now. He's only level 2, I'm level 3, about to hit level 4. So right now I'm like, hey, whatever, if you want, you know, if you want to give me that advantage, I'll take it. And he's already half HP, so I want to keep the pressure on. He's overextending himself a lot here, so I'm going to just bust down his HP a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him, but uh, that wasn't really the intent going forward. Just making sure that uh, he stays on his toes. He does not walk up to my side, definitely. So there, I hit level 4. And oh, fun unfortunately that Warlock headed down to the bottom lane, sw switched off with Bloodseeker, and uh, gets a double kill for himself. So he's doing pretty well. That is no good. So right now I'm thinking, okay, plan B time, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's gank at level 6 time. It's not really plan B, I guess that was plan A all along, but... Yeah, I just, I, it's just kind of like the pressure is on because I have to go help them out. Otherwise, we are going to lose this game because their team can easily snowball if they get a, an early game advantage because their team excels in the late game. So that means we need to win the early game no matter what. So there we go. Get some more harass off on a blood seeker. But unfortunately, I have a very low mana pool, so I can't do too much. I'm completely depleted of mana. I'm just trying to farm up my power treads and a teleport you scroll as soon as possible, as I well as hit level 6, an and then just kind of go gank and just start the you gank fest. Hmm, alright, so I guess we're in for a bit of a downtime while everybody farms up, so in the meantime... This is the downtime song I sing when there's nothing going on Because there's nothing for me to say when everybody's farming in their lane <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that performance But yeah, you know sometimes in Dota, just, just, there's absolutely nothing going on except farm So anyways, let's get back to things
Um, our top lane seems to be doing okay, except they're pushed up really far, so there's no way I'm going to be able to gank that, even if I wanted to. So, I'm looking at bottom lane right now for a gank. I'm thinking in my head, like, hmm, when I do gank, how am I going to pull this off? Um, just because right now there's not too much else to think about, except just focusing on lasting these creeps. There we go, I hit level 6, but unfortunately, completely depleted of mana. So, um gonna heal myself up because I because I realized that uh, I can't gank until I get my boots and I can't gank until I get a teleport scroll and to get both of those I'm gonna need about 200 250 more creeps so I gotta stay here just a little bit uh, longer and by creeps I meant gold uh, if I needed 250 creeps I would probably um, not be able to gank this entire game anyways looks like warlock doing great for himself still He's on a killing spree, he's picked up three kills for his team, and uh, killed, just killed Drow right there. Drow like cow, I just recently learned that. But yeah, so now the race against time is on, I gotta get those, I, just, I gotta get that gold for uh, the TP scroll and for the boots so I can go gank and just bring this game back. It's 3-0, this is not a good start. Uh, oh. So I've got 1,500, power treads are 1,450 uh, plus 135 in the teleport scroll, so I'm going to need a couple more creep kills. Can't really do the math exactly right now, it doesn't matter. Pooh Bear versus Bounce Breakfast here in the middle lane. Alright, so what the heck am I doing? I just sort of stood there and watched that creep. There we go, level 7 as well as the gold needed to get my boots and my teleport scroll. So now I'm going to go start ganked and I'm thinking head, I'm going to head down to the bottom lane to see if I can turn things around, get some kills off on the bottom lane, give them a more easier time, uh, especially give Dro, Drow an easier time to farm things up there. Uh oh, getting some lag, getting some lag. Okay. There we go, picking up those power treads. Picking up that. Gonna teleport to the bottom lane, let my teammates know. Ganking bot, here we go. Watch this, watch this. I'm going in, I'm going in, going in on Alchemist. Gonna slow Warlock actually, and I'm gonna throw down my ulti right now, but I get stunned and throw down my ulti right there. Warlock is me at focus down, but oh no, I get stunned by Alchemist. But he's not going to get away because Dro or Drow has too much slow going for her. And we're going to pick him off. I'm going to run right next to him and throw down my EO. There we go. He goes down. So two kills bottom lane. Very, very uh, well done by myself. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back right here. Boom, boom. And uh, yeah, that that's, that's going to be it for that gank. And I think right now I'm going to head back and uh, regen some mana. Get another, another TP scroll and probably gank top. That's, that's my game plan right here. Uh, but I'm gonna pick up a couple creep kills just cuz just cuz I don't know I probably shouldn't have done that just let draw get all the creeps, but whatever. I'm, I'm a terrible player um, So I'm gonna head back now Get my TP scroll and head over to top lane. I'm just gonna check out the situation right there They got Darkseer and Bloodseeker. I'm thinking Darkseer eh, I don't think we're gonna be able to gank him just cuz he can run away at max maximum speed and can't even slow him down um, so I'm gonna pick up my magic wand that thing is really really magical as you'll see in just a little bit but yeah I'm letting my teammates know I'm ganking top uh, waiting for these creeps to die so I can teleport in without them knowing and then uh, just, just checking out bottom making sure they don't need any more help for now and I'm gonna head to the top lane hopefully they are still there gonna, gonna go around the side like a ninja ninja fish coming around the side and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Unfortunately, I think they spotted me there. Oh, there is Bloodseeker. He's gonna go in. Um, he's gonna try to pick off Razor. We're gonna see if we can save him. Queen of Pain's gotta focus Bloodseeker here. And oh no, Bloodseeker gets the kill off on Razor, which means that he's gonna regen a little bit, but not enough. Um, because me and Queen of Pain just dish out way too much damage. I'm, I'm level eight right now. I'm easily the highest level on the map, I think. And uh, things are looking pretty good for our team now. We sort of brought things back. Three kills to four kills now. So now uh, I'm like, okay, I don't need to gank so much. Maybe I can just uh, farm up my stuff a little bit. I think I'm, I think I'm deciding to go for a a uh, blink dagger first. Yeah, see, I'm level eight. 
highest level on the game. Alright, so it looks like there's two people in the middle lane. Pooh Bear, uh, Bloodseeker, and Warlock. Warlock's coming after me. He's just diving way too far. Why are you diving me, man? Like, you can't, you can't kill me. You seriously cannot kill me. Um, so uh, I get silenced. Uh, no big deal. I'm just going to back off. Here comes Razor, so I'm going to jump right back in. I think I'm going to throw down my ulti, but for whatever reason, my mouse screws up, and I start running the wrong way, so Warlock is going to be able to get away. That's, uh, that's a, a misplay right there. Big misplay by me because I ran the other way Bye. but whatever I mean it's gonna happen it's okay and just gotta recover so now I'm kind of mad because we totally could have had that and I'm kind of bloodthirsty so I'm gonna head down to the bottom lane and kill this alchemist just to kind of redeem myself hopefully and we'll see what happens I'm gonna go in gonna throw down the slow there comes Dr uh, Drow he's coming in as well I don't think I'm gonna need that ulti so I'm just gonna keep whacking him and now I realize oh crap I'm gonna die so I'm gonna throw down my ulti just for the heck of it because I'm dead anyways so that ulti manages to pick off alchemist um I'm, I'm, I'm not very happy about that because I could have killed him if I wanted to commit to my ulti. I sh could have used the ulti earlier and not died. And uh, so I, I guess I kind of got greedy there. I didn't didn't really want to use my ulti. Uh, but uh, whatever. That's just kind of the, the way things turned out there. Can't really do anything about that now. Holy crap. Warlock's just, just decimated Queen of Pain with his ulti. Uh, I'm back in the game though. I'm gonna pick up that teleport scroll and head to the middle lane. I'm gonna just make make sure that we uh, fend off Bloodseeker there. And now I'm seeing Warlock. He is sort of chilling in the jungle, so I'm gonna go gank. I just keep on ganking this game. Just, just there's not a long period of time where I just sit in the, in the lane and farm. So, so this is a really, really good game. Anyways, so there we go. Bringing Warlock down. There's no way he's gonna be able to run. Or maybe he will. We'll see what happens. He's running. He's trying to juke. Not really happening. Not going to get away from my nuke. So I bring him down there. And we see Alchemist coming. So we're going to back off. And oh crap. He gets. He actually stuns himself or something. And uh, yeah. He's going to get brought down. Just because of that misplay. Giant misplay there by Alchemist. Pretty much just sign his, uh, sign his death note right there. To battle. Anyways, so felt great, got a double kill, I'm level 9, got great farm. But right now I'm thinking, hmm, what item should I go for? Should I go straight up uh, Blink Dagger, or should I get something else first? And then I think I decided to go for a bottle, just because I don't have a lot of mana to work with, and if I got a Blink Dagger, I would be even more lower on mana, you know? So, here comes Jakiro. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off a kill on Bloodseeker. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll just sort of harass him, making, making sure he can't creep farm here in the bottom lane. Alright, so, now we're going to back off because that handy dandy ward uh, sees a purple X coming. So, we're like, hmm, maybe we can't handle uh, these two right now, so... We're gonna back off. Forward. But now I just got my ulti, and I'm feeling a lot stronger. And I see Queen of Pain coming from the side. If you, if you look on the mini mini map there, so we're gonna try to get a kill off on these two. Life Stealer is way out of position, so we're gonna try to bring him down. We, we gotta keep him stunned though, because his ulti. Oh no! There we go. That's his ulti right there. He jumps right into a creep, and we can't really kill him anymore. And unfortunately, Bloodseeker gets away as well. I probably should have used my ulti earlier so that uh, Lifestealer couldn't jump into a creep like that. But, you know, hindsight 2020. Um, so he gets away. <coughs> it's, not, it's not a giant loss, but, I mean, it could have been played better. So now I'm going to head back. Um, pick up my bottle. And uh, as well as a teleport scroll, I think. And then going to go just see if I can pull off some other big plays. Just going to sell one of my little items. And then I'm thinking, hmm, which lane should I go to? And I see a lot of people bottom. 
There's apparently four bottom, and then so now I'm gonna teleport there and see what I can uh, do. I don't have my ultimate anymore though, but I'm still Tide Hunter. I'm still a boss without my ulti, so I think I should be able to get stuff done. All right, so here we go. If they decide to push, I'm gonna be there for it. And somebody else is teleporting in, so we are totally ready. Uh, this team is pretty awesome. We got great team play. Uh, skill level wise, uh, they're they're just kind of like I, I I'd say just on a kind of average, in a in a good in a good way, not like in a bad way. But team play wise, we are definitely exceptional. So it looks like Razor killed Darkseer somewhere, as you can see. And uh, we're going to try to bring down this Bloodseeker right here, which is going to go in. Jakiro coming in. Uh-oh, but Bloodseeker is running a little bit too fast. Jakiro totally missing his stun thing right there. And, but I'm like, I'm going to man up and chase him into the trees and bring him down. Level 11 now with five kills under my belt. So now we're going to push this bottom lane and try to bring down this tier 1 tower. Alright, so bring this tower down really fast. I don't think there's going to be much that can stop, stop us from uh, bringing this down. So after this, I'm thinking, hmm, because you got to keep always, always plan ahead, always have a game plan, always know what you're going to do next. I'm going to head to the middle lane next, just because it looks like it's being pushed a little bit. Um, yeah, taking a look there, but then I realized, oh, they're just illusions. So whatever, I'm not going to actually waste the teleport scroll right now. I see a double damage ruin right there, and I guess I don't see it. Never mind, I totally missed that because I wanted to, I guess... Save this drow who's just gonna get destroyed by this bloodseeker. And we're gonna try to bring him down. He's running fast. Queen of Pain's gonna come in. Where's the slow from Queen of Pain? There it is. But damn, this bloodseeker just runs way too fast. Uh, I don't really want to waste my ulti on just one guy right there. So we're gonna keep chasing him down, see what we can do. Queen of Pain is just running all over the place. She's got a double damage ruin on her. And there's the nuke on Bloodseeker. I see him getting away, so I'm like, whatever, it's time to use my ultimate. Use my ultimate, and uh, I, I didn't even get the kill on that, um, but it doesn't matter. And it looks like they're going to go after Alchemist. Queen of Pain is. I'm just going to take a look at uh, her progress there. Oh my gosh, one more hit, and Alchemist would have been down. But Queen of Pain, I guess, just didn't want to commit that much, uh, so she's going to back off. We missed the kill on Alchemist. No big deal, though. But uh, Bloodseeker did go down. And I've got 2,400 gold saved up after that fight. So I, I'm thinking, hmm, should I pick up my uh, Blink Dagger now? I think the answer is maybe as I port to the bottom lane. Uh-oh, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Life Stealer is on my ass. Uh, doing a lot of damage to me right now. He's gonna chase all the way in. I don't know how smart this is because Razor comes up, uh, but now he's gonna run away. That life stealer is so hard to catch. Double damage. So yeah, I'm like, okay, time to head back and pick up my blink dagger. I think that's gonna be the right choice, uh, uh, item choice to make right now. Things are pretty even. It's uh, eight nine. I think. Um, even though I'm doing really, really well, I really wh what I really need is for Razor or for Drow to do really, really well. Because uh, in the late game, I'm just a Tide... Well, even though Tidehunter is boss, as you'll see late soon enough. Um, I'm only Tidehunter, and I don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> um, so... I'd much prefer if Razor or Drow is doing well. But anyways... And that, that's just how the game is going right now. So, going to head to the middle lane, get a little bit of farm. And looks like Razor is in a little, little bit of trouble. So, I'm going to head over there from the middle lane to help him out. This life see uh, stealer is diving way, way too far. And there we go. Come to Papa. He's going to run right into me. I'm going to finish him off with a Q and E combo. Mega kill. Got six kills to one. Feeling great. 
just chomping down on these creeps as well. By the moon. The, the, the thing is, like, when I play, um, either I play terrible, or I play, or like, I get the kind of kind of feel, kind of I kind of get into it a little bit, and then I'm just feeling great, and my whole game goes really great. So this is one of the games where I kind of felt it from the beginning, got a really good start, and just kind of kind of just playing really sharp the entire game. And now I'm pinging mid. I'm like, let's go! I've got this uh, blink dagger. I want to get, I want to make use of it. I'm gonna head over there. Looks like uh, stuff is happening there. Battles going on. I'm gonna go in and try to finish things off. There's Alchemist. I'm gonna be able to finish him off. No problem with just one nuke. I'm gonna blink right up to the ramp and fight Warlock face to face right there. Um, I don't have enough uh, mana for an ulti. There we go. I have one now, but I don't really need it to finish off Warlock. And Bloodseeker is probably gonna get away anyway, so I'm like, whatever. Not really gonna waste it. Plus, I'm silent, so I couldn't even do it anyways. So, it looks like now I'm gonna port to the bottom lane to try to ward off this Darkseer. Again, this guy's gonna be extremely hard to catch just because of that right there. So, I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna save the tower instead. Um... So now I saw Jakira coming, so like let's try to catch this guy uh, to no avail though. But there's uh, Life Stealer, so I'm gonna try to catch him. Where did he go? We totally lost him, but you know, stuff like that happens. There's Darkseer again. He's trying to pick off this tower, so I'm gonna go after him, pinging my teammates to come. But unfortunately, no one's actually gonna follow me. So it looks like this tower is gonna go down. Uh, but I'm gonna try to see if I can pick off. Darkseer, of course I can't, he's gonna run away and uh, into the darkness, I'm gonna try to find him, but I'm not seeing him anywhere, I'm like, where did he go, did he go to the Ancients, no, where did he go here, and uh, so he's gone, and looks like a battle is ensuing a little bit here in the bottom ruin area, and we're gonna go chase him, I'm totally out of mana though, so I'm like, eh, I'm probably not gonna be able to do too much, um, so I'm gonna head back, there's Darkseer, he went all the way around, and I, not even Drow is going to be able to catch him there. So that Darkseer is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good ganking, I guess. Well done by him. So now I'm just going to farm up a little bit, use up what mana I have left before I have to go back. Don't really have a teleport scroll anymore, so I have to walk all the way back. Not looking forward to that at all. Tidehunter, as you can see, is uh, kind of kind of got the weight on him. So uh, I see that haste ruin. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get that before I go back. I can always use a haste ruin. The tide moves. If I pick that up now, I'm gonna head head back to my base. The long journey back to the fountain. We're 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 really bringing things back right now. It's eight kills as, as you can see to twelve kills, but I do have eight of our twelve kills. Um, like I said before, I really would like it if Razor or Drow had those kills, but you know what? Better me than none, I guess. I go. So right now I'm thinking hmm, I might have to build Tide Hunter, not as a pure initiator, not as a pure tank, but maybe. Tack on some damage as well. There's Lifesteal. I'm going to activate the Haste Rune just to try to pick him off. He went into that creep, but I'm like, oh, let's kill that creep. But it's one of our own creeps, so we can't really kill him. He's totally in that creep right there, but we can't kill him. Ah, it's so annoying. But yeah, I guess, you know, Lifestealer fans, take note. Just jump into jump into one of your, uh, your enemy's creeps that has full health and there's no way they can kill you. But there's, oh, he's coming back though. He's jumped out of that creep and we're gonna bring him down. I see two of them there, so I'm gonna throw down my ultimate. Um, we're gonna bring down Alchemist. I'm dead, but I'm just gonna man up and just take it. Take one for the team. We got two for one right there, so pretty good trade. And now Bloodseeker might even go down. Oh, damn it, he's so low, oh no. Oh man, and Warlock coming in though. Hopefully he doesn't get a kill on Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain does go down. So it's two for two trade. Not as good as I wanted to. But if we bring down Warlock, it'll be good. Warlock's very, very low. Razor's got the drain on him. And Razor's going to be able to finish him down. So I guess two for three. A little bit better now. And we're not going to be able to bring down this tower. So I guess we just need to back off. Looks like what what are they doing? 
Looks like Drow and Jakiro are gonna try to gank Bloodseeker. Not a good idea though. I think he's like level 14. They're like level 9 or something. What is it Jakiro doing? He is playing like he's he's level 20 or something. So yeah, he's gotta get back. And looks like this Drow is in trouble. She's way, way too far out. I mean, if you're Drow Ranger, you do not need to be that far out. You have no escape whatsoever. You're extremely squishy. You need to stay behind a fat hero like Tidehunter to really, really maximize your hero's, um, I guess, your, your strengths. Just waiting, waiting for them to push right here a little bit. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Just gonna farm some creeps. I'm really debating hmm, what item should I get next. A couple item choices for Tidehunter, of course. You should get um, Shiva's. Of course, Blink Dagger is great. Um, it's really, it's pretty situational. Um, if you're dying a lot, maybe get some 